Well, thanks for clicking in to see what I'm doing here. For this video, it's going to be another experiment. I have this book, a box making project book, and uh, I was looking through it. There's some interesting, uh, I think I've made a box or two out of it, but there's some interesting projects here. He's got these little drawer boxes that he uses. Well, I saw this one. There's the pattern for it. I'm thinking I could modify that because I need some little parts drawers, little parts containers. Uh, I've got a lot of small stuff and it's kind of scattered around. I need to get it a little better organized. And so I'm looking at it thinking I could modify, make my own pattern based on that idea. And uh, so that's what I'm doing here. And I'm, I'm doing some changes because I changed the size. I just want a square box, kind of make it modular where I've got a spot that this will fit under when it's standing up. And going to be three layers deep of this. Probably not the best way to build a box, but it's going to... Uh, it's going to be interesting to see if it works. Now, I don't know why. Uh, in his pattern, you can see this is the drawer. This is the part you cut out for the drawer, but he draws his entry, drills his entry hole here. Well, I'm thinking, this is waste. Why don't you drill the entry hole in the waste? So I've got mine marked. I haven't drilled it yet. I'm going to drill it right there, cut that area out. I've rounded his corners because small parts get stuck in the corners of a box like that, a drawer. Uh, so I'm going to round those out. I used a nickel to make that rounded corner. I made this just basic square box pattern and inkscape. So anyway, like I say, I'm going to put an entry hole here. I'm going to cut that inner spot out. That'll give me the drawer uh, area. And then I'm going to cut this out all the way around. That'll give me the drawer that pulls out and the hole that it slides in. That's the plan. Then you glue those three layers together and I'm thinking about possibly dividing the drawer up into divisions, which means I'll have to either leave one layer off or shorten one, uh, but that depends on how many, what size material I have and how many divisions I put in them. They probably won't all have divisions, but I'm thinking about trying that. Probably use some one eighth inch uh, Baltic birch as the divisions, and I could just shorten one of the layers by the amount I need. And then have to put a back on the on the box, of course, so the the, doesn't, the drawers don't slide out the back. Anyway, that's my plan. This will evolve as I go. When you get to a point, you realize you can do something differently. This is not real complex. But I've got two more of these. I haven't mounted the pattern yet. I'm going to drill these and cut these four. And then I'll take a look at it and see what I think, if this is going to work or i got to change my procedure. So I'm thinking it through. I think I've got it figured out, but I'll see as I go. Okay, here I'm going to make the first cuts. I, uh, I got a number five blade. I want a fairly small curve so I don't have a lot of slop side to side in that box. And we'll see how this works. Okay, so that cut out. Uh, that's one. I got to do that two more times. And then I'm going to do some figure four. I'll start out by gluing these together and figure out what kind of back I'm going to put on them. And then I'll work on the drawers. Uh, like I say, they got to have a back on them. And I'd like maybe some uh, division in, in, in some of them, maybe not all of them. Uh, a divider right in the middle. But I'll see about that when I get there, because um, I got to have a, all the other parts cut out. So I got two more blanks. I'm gonna mount the patterns and cut those out, and then I'll start gluing the body of it together. All right, so I got it cut out. Actually, I cut fours to the three. Here's two, and then here's two. Now I'm gonna start gluing these together like the little cabinet for it. Uh, I've taken these and lapped these sides on a piece of sandpaper on a tile to make sure I had them as flat as I could reasonably get them. Now I'm gonna start gluing them together. I'm gonna concentrate on getting these three middle ones lined up the best I can. 
and whatever falls to the outside out of line is easier to sand. And I'm going to sand each each pair, each, each gluing as I go to get the, everything lined up inside. It's lining up real good right now, but I'm just going to give it a little fine tuning there. So that's my next step. I'm going to glue these two together, and then I'll start working on the, the next one to go on. Okay, I've got the, the rough cabinet more or less built. I've got it pretty well shaped though I wondered on the outside. I've got the insides matching up pretty good. They're not perfect, but they're going to be good enough, I believe. Now I've got 16 of these pieces. And I'm going to start gluing those together to make the little drawers. And I've got Baltic birch plywood, 8th inch. And I'm going to make like... Uh, these combos like this, two, two and one, and then I'll glue those together to make one drawer with a back and a, a central divider. And then when I get it all ready and I get these the right depth, I have to allow for the width thickness of those two pieces of plywood. Uh, then I'll uh, figure out what kind of front I'm going to put on it. What I've got to, how much I've got to cut down or sand down on these drawers to get them to fit right. And I'm going to put a piece of Baltic birch on the back of the cabinet so it'll have a back to it. At least that's my plan right now. So I'm going to start gluing these together, cutting me out some more Baltic birch and, and building up these little modular pieces that I'm going to put together for the drawers. Okay, so that's one drawer done. I got the pull on it and everything. Got the front on it. I don't have the back on the case yet. Uh, I've got the other glues in various stages, the other drawers in various stages of gluing up. Uh, this is a little cruder than I what originally intended, but the pattern is very crude and I'm using scrap and what have you. And this is a prototype, kind of a learning experience. Um, I want to refine this. I know some things I need to do to make it better. Two things right off the top. I need a, a narrower sh stroke on my line, on my pattern. Uh, this will give me a more precise cutting spot and then to be very precise in the cutting. And once I tighten that up, I think I'll make some very nice little, little parts holders. And like I say, this is a prototype experiment to see if I can even do it. Uh, I can do it, and uh, I'm going to continue with this and finish it up. I just like a little bit of glue and some of this takes a little while. I got to glue parts and then more parts. I glue the drawers together in halves. If I put a divider in, then I put a divider in between them as I go. Uh, I'm going to go and put a divider in one more, and the other two I'm going to make full uh, drawers all the way through. Then I have to cut the front of it off to to allow for the uh, with the dividers. But anyway, I'm going to proceed with this. Uh, I'm not unhappy the way it's going. It's not very, very seldom does what I envision come out in the first try. And uh, this is all an experiment based on an idea I got. So 
we'll continue with it. I'll be back in a minute. I'll have some more drawers ready to put in there and kind of see what it starts looking like as it gets put together. Okay, so that's two. Um, I'm working on the back of the third one, and I'm going to start gluing the fourth one together, so I'm gradually coming together with it. Still got some fine tuning to do, but again, this is kind of a prototype. It's going to be a little cruder than I wanted, but I believe it's going to work, and it's a good practice project. So let me continue working on the glue up. Okay, so I got three of them in. I made one bad cut on the material I had for the drawer fronts. So that's the reason this one's not going to match. I got enough of this for the fourth one. But I'm, I'm pulling this out of the scrap pile anyway. So uh, I'm just about done with the last drawer. I'm putting the back on it and then I'm going to put it in place and, and size the front. And I'm going to be just about having it constructed then. All right, I'm going to call that finished, although it's not finished. I haven't put a finish on it. I uh, probably could paint it. Uh, I kind of like the front look the way it is, but the rest of it. Of course, I, I don't intend for that to show. Once I get finished, they'll all be stacked together. Still, some kind of finish would be okay. And this is, like I say, a prototype. It's a practice learning model. It works. I think it's going to got dividers there. Got dividers in that one. And those have no to bottom to or just one big drawer. Uh, I need to probably lubricate it a little bit. Use some, uh, uh, I've got some paste wax I can use to help things like that slide. Uh, I've got them sanded pretty smooth inside, but it's still they kind of want to catch a little bit. And they're, they're a little sloppy because my cutting needs to be better. But they'll, it'll work. It will hold parts, and I can put a label on there probably if I want to. But anyway, I'm going to call that good for this video, and I'm going to go back to the drawing board and refine my pattern a little bit. And, uh, and this is made out of scrap. It's not the best wood. That's some old three-quarter inch that come out of a, a sign. It's just some old pine, cheap pine, uh, that I made a sign years ago you know, when I was doing... Uh, flea markets and that was a sign for my wife she was she called herself Lady Yarrow because she was she was making jewelry and I made her a real nice script sign and we didn't have any use for it anymore so I'm repurposing it so anyway uh, I'm gonna put it over there on my on my counter back against the wall where I've got a little spot up underneath my pegboard and I'm gonna Dig me out some of my small parts that I use. I got magnets and, and little small finials and things that need a good storage space. That's what I'm going to use this for and build some more probably. Uh, there's probably a better way to do this, but I saw this technique in that book. Thought I'd try it. If you like that, hit the like button. If you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button because, again, I don't know what I'm going to do next. It'll be a surprise to me too. So, uh, and I'm going to work on this a little more. I don't know when it'll get back to it, but I'm going to refine that pattern while it's fresh in my mind. Get a, get a better uh, stroke, a narrower stroke on the pattern so I'll have a better defined cut uh, line and, uh, and try to cut a little more accurately. That was the worst thing about this one. It wasn't cut as accurately as it could be because you got to put everything back together. But anyway, I hope you liked that. Hit the like button. And I hope to see you in the next video.